Yo, what is the word? What is the word? What is the word? Speedy in the building back on that episode. And that was, and today, like, I really hate doing videos like this because every time I done did a video on it, it don't get no views. And then everybody went a dick ride. And then niggas that do view this shit, it be big YouTubers. And then they just remake my video and then take certain stuff that I said and don't say everything. And then 2K wind up listening to them instead of listening to the original source. You know what I'm saying? So, here go another one. For the past three weeks, ever since it has been announced, the NBA 2K24 and Take Two Interactive has, has, has did not meet their quota by 91 million dollars. They have been meticulously trying to update this game, but here's the thing: this game is ran by the same dipshit, bitch-ass faggots that still been they ruined the fucking game. So how are you going to recoup 91 million dollars with the same people that you just lost 91 million dollars with? Two. Why are y'all updating the game and not fixing shit that we've been asking for since season one? We're in season five and the game still plays like season one. Three. Why do y'all keep nerfing the people that play y'all game? You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand if there's people on Reddit that don't play your game and you want to nerf them. I get it. But the people that who put in money, the, the shooters and the dribble guys pay the most money. You never going to see no... Motherfucking corner sitter or hash sitter or lock put a whole bunch of money into the game because they're only a lock, they're only a corner sitter, they're only there for rebounds, they only there for one thing. But niggas like me is gonna make a 6'10 point guard, is gonna make a 6'5, that's gonna make a 7 footer. You know what I'm saying? I might throw some, some money at the game, even if I didn't pay for it. I remember game sharing is a real thing, so if I bought the game. And I'm game sharing my brother. We both got the game. And then if we bought it on sale, that's two for the price of one. And then what if we don't put no no money into the game? That's what a lot of people are doing. They only paid twenty five dollars. Didn't buy no VC or nothing. But when you got people who actually put in time and effort, look at the gameplay. Look at the gameplay in the background. Nobody plays like this. I consistently play like this every single game. But 2K don't let me make my shots like I do. We'll guard up a Hall of Fame, dead out on silver. After they already nerfed the 610s from last year. How the fuck y'all nerf my build and then make the game harder? I'm saying. And then Mike Wayne get mad when everybody shit on his game. Mike Wayne, if you just open up the green windows and let people shoot 70% from the three. Then we'd be good money. Everybody not going to shoot 70%. You acting like everybody's going to shoot 70%. The average three-point percentage last year was 44%. Most people only shooting 44%. That had the best shooting. It did. But everybody didn't like all the all the shot timings. But y'all brought back shot timings. Y'all made shooting worse. Y'all slowed down the animations. The release queue is not where it's supposed to be at. And the green windows is too fucking small. But for layups, you get 90% of your bar to be green. You take one extra foot outside of the paint that's not a, a post. Because if you posting up, your post your post score, your green window is going to be the same every single time. You could be posting up from the three-pointer. You're going to have the same green window, even though you're further away from the basket. So 2K lied about that. They say even though if you're further away from the basket, your green window is supposed to be smaller. That's not true because if you if you post fade, you can post fade from the three. And you can make that shit. I'm saying consistently with a crazy green window that's going to be bigger than a regular jump shot green window. This shit that people don't realize. Your regular standstill shots, the reason why you set in your feet is because you can't shoot off dribble. You can't shoot a moving shot because when you when you take a layup, right, you got 90% of your green window. When you take a close shot, you probably got you probably got like, like 10% of your green window. I mean 10% of your bar. When you shoot a midi, you got 5%. And then when you shoot a 3, you have less than 1%. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be within a few decimals. And not a lot of decimals. Just just maybe 2 or 3 decimals of the millisecond of your animation. But if you turn off your layup timing, now you don't have to play ball at all. You just hold R2 and square it. Hope it goes in. No skill required at all. I seen somebody yesterday with a meter on make a half bar layup fully contested with no green window. There was no green window. The whole entire bar was gray. And, it, and even though it was a half bar and the gray was green. 
Mike Wayne, people don't want to lose to no bullshit like that. Because you can't stop that. You literally can't. It's 2K giving them bullshit. We've been saying this. Like, yo, even it, it got to the point where even the misses are animations. Who Who's missing and where the ball is going, that's a whole animation. That has nothing to do with physics. They couldn't figure out physics on the ball. They didn't know how to make the ball an entity. You know how your player is an entity and you can, you know what I'm saying, you can interact with other shit. You can interact with people. You can interact with teammates. You can interact with the ball. The ball doesn't interact with anything. It doesn't interact with the with the hoop. It doesn't interact with the rim. It doesn't interact with the, with the, with the motherfucking net. It doesn't interact with the backboard. Nothing. It don't even interact with your hands. That's the reason why that should be yo-yoing, glitching through your body. When you pass the ball, sometimes it goes through people. And this is on current gen and next gen. Here's my thing. I've been making these same complaints since last year. The same exact complaints. And the reason why I was making because I knew that if 2K24 had them same exact issues that 23 had, the game was not going to be good. You know what I'm saying? And now 2K is trying to keep applying all these updates. What are these updates even for? You got people complaining about my team. So y'all gonna update my team. Okay, that's all these people spending their money at now. Nobody's playing park. Look at the season quest. 2v2, two 3v3s two, three and rec. What about the 1v1 court? What about the walk-on? Why don't those count? You mean you want me to play with other people? In park. Specifically in park. I can't play stage because I'm not gonna get no season quest. Can't play 1v1s so I'm not gonna get no season quest. I can't play 3v3 walk-on because I'm not gonna get no season quest. Then I can't really play perk because nobody plays perk. Even with these weak ass season quests that y'all giving out 10k VC for, it's not working. And that's my thing. Why doesn't 2k listen to the right people? I understand that YouTube isn't going to recommend the best content for you. I know it's not. 2K, uh, YouTube does not recommend the best content. But YouTube recommends the most relevant content. And seeing I only got 900 subscribers, and even though I've been making videos about this since motherfucking last year, and niggas is dick riding, niggas, I know niggas be seeing my shit because I use, I use they thumbnails, and they brought back their own thumbnails. The motherfuckers be saying the same exact shit that I say verbatim. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. And then, like I said, look at the play, look at the play style. Nobody plays like I do. How the fuck you on nerf dribblers, shooters, shot creators, and even defenders? But y'all not going to nerf rim runners. Y'all never want to nerf rim runners. Ever. That don't make no sense to me. Why is it that everything in this game takes skill except for steals and layups? I'm saying, even if you take a regular jump shot, I mean, I'm going to leave you wide the fuck open. I don't care if you hitting that bitch or not. You taking a regular standstill jump shot. It is 10 years of park. 10 years of NBA 2K park. And this is how people are playing. Cause this is all they can do they don't even want to learn how to do a spin jumper a hop jumper or a fade because their green window gets smaller their green window should not get smaller on those types of shots especially if you got guard up on hall of fame volume shooter on hall of fame space creator on hall of fame green machine on hall of fame dead eye on silver you know what i'm saying limitless range on bronze if you got all that even if your limitless range is on bronze because you can shoot from half without limitless if you can shoot from half without limitless then what should you be doing when you got bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame limitless? You know I'm saying, and that's what I'm saying. There is no difference between a 99 and an 85 three pointer. If you got 85 three pointer, that is the best you're gonna be able to shoot. It's not like, all right, I'm a, I got an 85 three pointer, I can just shoot catch and shoot shots. All right, I got a 93 pointer, I should be able to shoot off dribble. No, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. Even though my point guard has a 93 three pointer, right? And my big man, well, not my big man, my 6'10". Actually, yeah, my big man, right? I have I have a 70 overall 7-footer, and then I have a 93 overall 6'5". Why do they have the same exact green window for the 3-pointer? Why? That shouldn't affect everybody the same. I've only seen one person with a big-ass green window from the 3, and he was a corner sitter. When you got Claymore, catch and shoot, motherfucking... Clutch shooter and all these other weird ass shits, corner specialists, all these badges. Of course, your green one are gonna be big as hell. Cause you sitting in a fucking corner with eight badges stacked up. But when all I got is space creator, cause nothing else wanna work. Let's talk about mini magician. Mini magician does not work. When you see me make those shots, do you see mini magician pop up? No. Look at those contests. Tell me that was a contest. Why the fuck is if I'm standing at the three and you put your hand up, mind you, you're six seven. I'm 6'10", and I jump with my shot, and I lean back. It's a fade. How the hell is that 97% contested? When your hand is at my chest, your hand has to with the ball. 
but it's not doing that. What y'all wind up doing is y'all run into me full sprint, run into me. You're not allowed to do that. But 2K doesn't call that a foul. There's no shooting fouls. Like I'm saying, how many times have you been, have you seen a shooting foul get called on an actual shot? Rarely, right? But what's the rule state on a foul? No contact when he's in the air, right? If there's contact when he's in the air, except with the hand, because the, the, your hand is part of the ball, you allow to tap, you allow to high five with the block, right? And you have to give the shooter space to land. I really wish that I screen recorded another game because this one I'm just playing too good, like I'm saying, but only. Like once every 10 or 12 or 15 or 20 or 30 or 40 games am I going to have a game like this? Even though I play the same exact way every single time. And everybody guards me the exact same way. Like you know what I'm saying? So why is everything RNG? Because it's a simulation. Y'all ask for simulation, y'all got simulation. If y'all ask for arcade, then you would have to be better. You would have a bigger green window, which means it would be easier to make your shots. But... It will be harder because you actually have to do everything. Now, instead of getting a John Wall spin around layup from tapping square, you actually have to hold square, tap square while you're holding it, and then let it go at the right time instead of just getting the animation off rip. That's the difference between arcade and simulation. Simulation is going to give you that animation. Arcade, you have to do that animation. And that's the reason why the comp scene don't like 2K24 because it's not... It's not arcade, it's simulation, it's RNG. Simulation literally means RNG. What are you talking about? It means random. Simulation means we're going to give this a random, we're not going to have any effect on it. That means our inputs isn't going to affect that. When you play my league, right, and you go to simulate broadcast, can you play? No, you have to pause it, go to controller, pick sides. You can't just play. Like, no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to do anything. You're just watching the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, no matter what I do, I'm just watching the game. Then it's crazy, because let's talk about shooting. A full meter can be registered as red early, yellow early, slightly early, slightly late, yellow late, and a red late. A full meter. That's how small your green window is. Your green window is so small that even when you wide open, sometimes you're not going to have no meter. You could still green it, but it's not going to have no window. Like You're not going to see it. I'm saying so that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that niggas really destroyed the game on purpose are refusing to fix it, but want to keep updating the game like they seem like they know. You want to drop all these hundred overalls to try to get people. I mean, you got six thousand dollars out of Troy Dan. Troy Dan is not going to be able to make up ninety one million dollars in deficit for the game. It's not going to happen. And then all these updates are for what? When are you just going to let us ball? But you're so confined on, no, people need to be shooting 40% when nobody's shooting 40%. People only shooting 40, 50, 60, 70% off of standstill shots. That's not basketball. The 2K meta is standstill shots, chase them around the court, spam square, and hold squares on the layups. I hope it goes in. You know what I'm saying? And this is like the 367th video I done did about 2K, about these specific issues. Shit don't ever get viewed because YouTube don't want to promote it. So now can't nobody understand them. But then when when a little 20 people that do view it, I'm saying, for some odd reason, like a day or a week later, somebody drops a video with the exact same content I'm talking about. But they're not putting it in the same light. I'm saying. So it's like, where are you just going to dick ride like that? And you not in. You mean, like, it be niggas that don't give a fuck about the game. That'd be the crazy shit. Like, you see how these niggas play? Niggas that do one dribble move, shoot a wide open standstill shot. Niggas 10 years apart. Why are we still playing like this, bro? You see SGA. You see Luka. You see Kyrie. Nobody want to play like them. You see Joker. Joker went five games in a row shooting 100%. No misses. But you mean to tell me I can't do the same thing. All right, man. I'm going to catch you on the flip. Speedy out.